Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy Endwalker for their first event. It's Christmas. It's Christmas, look. And people are pelting each other with snowballs, isn't it nice? Uh, we're Sage because I was about to record the Sage videos and then I realized that this is uh, here. So we're going to do this first because uh, I like these events. I don't think we've missed a Christmas event. We've missed a couple of Halloweens and stuff, uh, recording-wise, I believe. But, um... We, we haven't missed the Christmas, I don't think. Christmas has been very, very fun to do. A very Yeti starlight. Okay. Well, uh, um, you can't really see me because of all the fucking people. There I am, but look, that's what I look like. <laughs> well, if it is my favorite adventurer, I hope you haven't forgotten about me in the year since last we met. You're... You'll be lending a hand to the festivities again this year, won't you? Because I certainly could use your help. You see, I have something of a beast problem. Eww. Nothing dangerous, I assure you. But it's not exactly my area of expertise. I imagine a seasoned veteran such as yourself would be experienced dealing with Viorzi's exotic fauna. Uh, would you be, be would be better suited for the task? Come out, Rudy. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Do a little arm wiggle. Yep. Yep, yep. This little fellow is Rudy. At last, last, that's what I call him. At least that's what I call him. Uh, he's appeared all of a sudden. He's making uh, my usual premonitions. And now I don't seem to want to leave. He doesn't want to leave. He, he loves the preparations. He loves the Christmas. He loves the preparations. Look at him. He's got a present under his arm. He's got little reindeer. <laughs> he's, he's adorable. What do you mean? <laughs> I was wary at first, but I haven't tried. He hasn't tried to cause any trouble. I dare say he's even better behaved than some of my little helpers. I've grown so fond of him. Just couldn't resist making him a, a little customer. A little costume, even. A customer? Where'd that come from? Uh, doesn't he look adorable in it? He does. He looks so cute. Yep. The only problem is that is he's, that he's trying to tell me something. It seems terribly important to him, but for the life of me, I can't figure out what it, is, what it might be. Uh, suppose there's anything you might do to help, is there? Yep, 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 yep. Uh... <laughs> Forgive me, I know I'm asking that impossible. After all, this is... It's not as if an adventurer like yourself has the ability to communicate with beasts. Whatever am I to do? Look, you could use my help, my dear. I don't know who this is. The Santa Claus. Oh, it's a Nutkin. Did that, did that screw just speak? An ospus, I presume. A Christmas ospus. Oh, so you are familiar with my kind. Excellent. You shall allow me to forego the tradition, <laughs> the tedious explanations. Look at look at this nut. It's covered in some sort of sauce. It's delicious. <laughs> look at my hat. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? Uh, don't you just love me? You should take a picture of me with a screenshot button, like that. See? Beautiful. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Riza. Riza, a wanderer. Who goes wherever duties sentiment... <coughs> Sorry, I'm still not 100% uh, health-wise. <laughs> still got quite a bit of a cough. Um, who goes wherever duties sentiment and sweet smell of delicate t desserts take me? Much like this profiterole I've stolen. It's a nut. But it looks like a profiterole. A meeting with an old friend is cool, is what called me to Eorzea. But your festivities piqued my interest. All of these nut-covered candies, you understand. And my interest. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. It struck me that I might be of service. So here I am. With, with Rudy? You can understand him? I would be a sad excuse for an auspice if I could not. So allow me to provide some... In, in, <laughs> enlightenment. 
It seems your furry little friend would entreat a favor of you. To wit, he is, he is troubled by the fact that he is a bit runt of a compared to his brothers. They hardly seem to treat him like a real yeti, making fun of him all the time for his tiny snowball he makes. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure this costume didn't help much either. <laughs> Snowballs? Indeed, I've heard yetis. Uh, you can, yeah, there's actually this big yeti. Um, he hangs out with Fenrir and, uh, and throws snowballs at We have to throw snowballs at him. Uh, in, incapable and capture their prey by blowing frosty balls of ice and snow. Oh, yes, I understand. Yes, your friend would pull out. Oh, this is so cute. His friend, your friend would like would politely point out that it's not true of all Yetis. Rudy and his kid are peacefully deep in the mountains, a far cry from the savage beasts that roam Corophis. And they vile of supremacy of amongst themselves, not not through violence, but through through uh, competing to see, through competing to see who can build the biggest snowballs. Oh, I see they have a snowball competition. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Rudy was practicing making snowballs in secret to prove himself when he fell from a small precipice and he got lost. That's right, he's lost. A small lost boy. And you put antlers on him. I can't believe it. Truly really disgusting, really. He wandered into the forest aimlessly for days. Just about giving up all hope. And a white-haired fellow found him and rescued him. It was Santa Claus, maybe. The kindly fellow in question was none other than the Saint of Nimera, he says, saved a poor Rudy, before gallivanting off to the Starlight Celebration. Poor Rudy, alas, didn't even get a chance to thank him. Now he wishes to find the Saint and properly express his gratitude. However, now he's lost again. Touching story. Truly a Starlight miracle. And I do very much wish I could help, but I'm sorry, Rudy, I fear I haven't a clue where... The the saint is right now. He never he never sticks to one place for long. You see, he's busy delivering gifts to all the children of the realm over. Yep, yep, yep. The best way to show thanks was to pay his kindness forward. That's right. That's right. And if you if you help bring joy to all the young ones in the Starlight Celebration. Uh, you get one of his little helpers. Why, if you're lucky, you might even be able to meet him again. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Rudy says that he'd be happy to help. As for the matter, would I? As for the matter, so would I. Uh, at very least, I can avail you as an interpreter. You'll be lending a hand too, won't you? Uh, yeah, sure. Otherwise, no chocolate-covered nuts for you. I suggest we are all rather sudden, but please tell me you agree. I'm sure it would mean the world to Rudy. Yeah, I agree. Splendid. Yeah, oh my god, it's so fucking cute. It's unbelievable. I, god, just an animal with a Christmas hat, man. So cute. I got a picture of my dog with a... Well, it's my dog. My my childhood dog. He has sadly passed. Uh, but I got a picture of him with a Christmas hat on, a Santa hat on. So cute. Well, miss that dog. Splendid. Now, let us let us come up with a plan of getting this little one involved in the festivities. Oh, off he <laughs> Jesus. Off he bolts. Alright, peace out. I'll be back, okay? I gotta go see what they're up to. I imagine there's gonna be many spoilers of minions and other things around this environment. If you're playing this, if you're playing through Endwalker and you're watching this to pass a queue, that is, thank you very much. Uh, and there's plenty of other videos for you to watch while you're in that queue as well. Very sorry about that queue. Not that it's my fault. Um, and secondly, careful when you go to these environments because people who have already been in the story. People are going to be running around with minions and mounts and. All sorts of shit that you, you may not know about yet. You gotta be careful, okay? 
You don't know what they're going to be around. Titles is another one. We got titles on. I probably should have turned titles off, really. There's another one that could be naughty. I thank you again for your aid. Now we must be something special, Rudy. Uh, you can do for all the children this, this starlight season. But what could it be? Might you have any ideas? Yep, yep. What's, what's that you say? The snowballs you make are so tiny that no one would ever want, want them. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself, little friend. Clearly, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Clearly, your talents simply lie elsewhere. This is our job to help you find them. Perhaps you could join a choir, for example. Can you sing? Let's hear it. Yep. Uh, thank you, really. That was most uh, unique. Unfortunately, perhaps it's not best fit for singing, Starlight Carols. There must be something we can do. I would hear your thoughts, adventurer. Make snowballs for snowball fight. What? That's... That, that is a possibility, yes. But the children rather enjoy making snowballs themselves. I'm not convinced that taking the task away from them would bring them much joy. Well, no, you get a pile of them, don't you? And then you just, like, launch them like a machine gun. That reminds me. What do you think of these? Pray tell, I picked them up in Uldar. It is some kind of traditional confection. Uh, but they rather, they look rather snowballish, don't they? Perhaps we could make something similar for the festival. Oh, the nibble on. Yep. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Rudy. This is a chance to prove yourself once and for all. You're going to make the most loveliest, most scrumptious snowball treats yet any Yeti has ever made. Oh, it'll be with you every step of the way. You just need to have faith in yourself. Yep, yep, yep. Well, if it's the sweets you're making, I know just the person to help. Mother Monet, the, the Cario Capini. Uh, that's right, I know all of them. I know every person in this village, apparently. I'm staying in the room there. <laughs> Is he? I must say, I found her confections to be second to none. Shall we then? Come on. That's where I got my nut from, you see? Yeah, that, that sucks to see, doesn't it? That sucks to see. A bot with a random name just vanish, just warp somewhere else. It's like, oh god, guys, people fucking stuck in queues and you got bots warping around. Oh, that sucks to see. Botters, fucking fuck off. <laughs> Get over it. Uh, oh, here. Mother Malari, uh, there is something my friends and I would wish to discuss with you. Yep. Uh, quite, quite a monthly bunch, uh, a monthly bunch, I see. What brings you all here? I see. In that case, you've come at the perfect time. I believe I know a way that this might work for both of our favours. I'm in the midst of preparing Starlight gift boxes for the children at Bread Branch Meadows. Uh, it's like snow-themed sweets. Uh, would be most welcome addition. Ah. Uh. Then furnish you with said sweets we shall. Uh, that's once we figure out how precisely we're going to make them. You leave it to me. I have a working recipe for you before you know it. In the meantime, might I ask that you pick up some of the ingredients? We need in advance. I'll put them on my tab. Put it all on my tab. So simply, simply pick everything up and bring it back here. It will be our pleasure. And don't worry, Rudy. Our adventurer friend will do will handle the transactions. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you do well to shop by yourself, you say? Huh. I need only stand back and watch, if you insist. What an eager little helper your friend is. Yeah, I've made a list of everything we simply need. Go to the shopkeepers, and they'll take care of you. And the flour you can produce by at the, at the wishing miller. The oil from the botanist guild. And uh, stay warm out there, yes? Oh, yes, yeah, so and with that, we'll be off. First stop, the wishing mill. Oh, with us, really? Yep. 
Alright, we're gonna go to the mill. What the hell is the mill? <laughs> what the fuck is the mill? I don't remember there being a mill. Oh, we should be wearing our Christmas thing. Um, look, I'm sorry. Look, Jesus. Jesus, have I got it on me? I have, look. There we go. Now we're Christmassy. Beautiful. I could Christmas up these sage things too. We could make them green. And it, it, it would be, it would look great, right? I don't have any green on me though, I don't think. Do I have green? Green. I don't know, I got that. I got shit. I got nothing. Uh, right, where the hell is this mill? Oh, yeah, of course. What was the mill? Wow, look at those cakes. Very nice. Some huge cakes. Alright, we're gonna zip, zip down to the mill. Get some flour and some oil from the old botanists. We have to go. We have to go past this lag fest once again. Um, if you have been in the story, maybe, maybe don't have the minions, the titles, and the outfits and the mounts of the story for for like a week. I know. I know. It's your. You know. It's, it's your reward for clearing, but. Chance. Make them feel good. Yep. The baby Yeti? Why is it dressed like the Saint of Nero's helpers? Yep, yep, yep. A letter from Mother Minori. Oh, let's see here. Oh, I see, yes. Uh, we're running an errand. The area for Canopy. Canopy. Well, uh, I can certainly help you with that. Uh, give me just a moment and I'll fetch you your flower. That was in those jars. Flower. There you are. Should be enough. Well, that's bothered me for a while. Don't work yourself too hard now. Yep, yep, yep. Well, would you look at that? You see that our friend Rudy is a natural at this. I dare say he's gone... Got any smoother? If we did it ourselves. Now to the Bondless Guild for the oil. That fucking squirrel. <laughs> fucking. Why is everybody just okay with the auspice running around? Like everyone is just fine with it. They're just like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's an auspice. Whatever. No one's taking a second to be like, what the fuck? Yep, yep, yep. Ah, you got that beast. Back to the forest with you. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh dear, it seems our little friend is so kind of a pickle. Uh, we could we could go to his aid, but let's wait a, a, a bit. Still, he would give us give the lad more convince to to be able to overcome his predicament himself. Go. Oh. Won't leave. What? What to do? Does he, are we just not here? Like, are we? <laughs> I'd rather not involve the wood whalers. Yep, 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 yep. A note. Oh, maybe you're on an errand of sorts. Oh, well, I'll be cooking ingredients for Mama Minori. Oh, and I thought you were some savage beast. You wanted it from the cause trouble. Frying oil, is it? What you need? I'll be happy to oblige. Just a moment. I keep all my oil in these bags. <laughs> yeah, for now, it's heavy. Uh, you do take care on your way back to the canopy, yes? Yep. Off he goes. Well, oh, would you look at that? Rudy managed to find on his own, after all. And now that we have everything we need, let's head back to the to the canopy. 
and get to this to Midori. Off we go. Follow me. This way now. Follow me, adventurer. Hurry up. Or too slow, adventurer. Let's use the A for that. Let's 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 beat him. Beat him back there. Uh, this is a plaza would be closest. What? <laughs> it's congested. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it's congested? <laughs> oh no! I can't believe it's congested. We're gonna have to run there. I understand this won't make a difference, but if we happen to get there, it just running there gives us something else to do while we wait for it to fix itself. <laughs> we'll hope that we can just walk in when we get there. Fucking hell. Congested. That's funny. Poor FF. That's congested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, poor FF, man. They're having such trouble. They're having such server troubles. There we go. Like, we just took that person's place. Doesn't look that bad. Oh, never mind. Here we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. They're having such server issues, bless them. So much. They keep giving us compensation though. They give us seven days worth of free sub. And now they're giving us another 14, I think it was. Is that right? Like, that's crazy. It's a lot. Yip, yip, yip. Good to see you back safe and sound. And just, just look at you. Well, performed your little errand. You really are a wonderful little helper. With that, we have everything we need to make sweet starlight treats for the children. Uh, I'll take it, take me a little time while we prepare. How about you have a cup of piping hot tea while you wait? That would be splendid. Mavenori, Mavenori. No, I dare say that it might make me even hungrier for some little sweets to go with it. Yep, yep, yep. I fucking love the squirrel. We've not drawn attention to why he has a little uh, hat on. Yip, yip, yip. Amazing. I expected nothing less from you, Midori. Truly, your confections are simply to die for. Oh, look. Here they are. These, like, chocolate truffles with chocolate over it. You flatter me, Rizzy. Incidentally, you might be interested to hear that this is a traditional dessert called Screamles. Uh, named after... Oh, so it wasn't a nut after all. Named after the old Hell's Guard, with meaning of snowball. The perfect fit for, the, for a Yeti, would you say? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so it's more coincidence that it took a like, liking to the little snowballs. Look, I have one in my hands. Is it delicious? Num, num, num. Yep, yep. No, I've had this one all the whole time. I didn't steal it. You know, Rudy. Hey, you shouldn't let yourself be discouraged by what siblings, what your siblings might say to you. There's no shame in being different from everyone else. That's right. Say you're spending the holidays playing an MMO instead of hanging out with your family. That's fine. It's okay. You can you can be the way you want to be, and appreciate you for you who you are. After all, just look at me. I'm hardly like the other squirrels out there. Not that they can make fun of me, because I'm massively stronger than them in every way. But, uh, and do I let them bother me? Not at all. I would be proud to what sets us apart from the others. Not ashamed. Yep, 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 yep. That's right. What you said. Once you finish making these, making these, my gift boxes will be ready, to, ready for delivery. 
uh, to Bed Brass Meadows. Speaking of which, would you like to help handing them out? There's better. There's no better reward for hard work than watching the children's face light up with joy. Uh, don't worry, you won't have to do all the work. I'll be asking the Starlight Celebrants to assist as well. Well, what do you say? Sure, we can do that. Yep, yep, yep. Rudy says he'd love to. <laughs> I would most appreciate it if you would join us. Would you do this for him? Sure. Sure, Rudy. Hooray. You have my thanks, and we'll we'll make a few batches for the these and pack them into the gift boxes. Pack them, sorry, not pack them. That was weird. Into the gift boxes for you. Uh, Abby and G Gallery get in the GG. Uh, Abba, Abba, is it Abba? Is that how you say him? Uh, we'll be able to tell you what to do from there. Uh, duly noted. Thank you for everything, Mother Midori. Yep. This way, come on, adventurer. Follow me. Keep up with the auspice. Thank you. <clears throat> well, that's quest one done. We gotta go do the quest two. I gotta do another quest. Uh, they, they, so Final Fantasy has even had to suspend. They had to suspend sales of their digital version again. What a fucking, what a problem to have, huh? Like, wow. How unfortunate. It's gotta feel good though in a weird way. Like it's I'm sure I'm sure it's crazy stressful over there at fucking Square Enix HQ. But at the same time, it's like a good stress to have, right? It's like, oh man, our game is so fucking popular. Like, that's fantastic. Surely. In a in a weird way, roundabout way, but I'm sure there's still a lot of stress. Welcome back. Welcome back. I trust everything with my little helper. <clears throat> Jesus, get that, get that horrible croak out of my throat. Really into you helping Mother Nori make snowball shaped conf confections? Oh, what a splendid idea. The children will be delighted, I'm sure. Well done, Rudy. I'm so proud of you. How far you've come. Yep, yep. Furthermore, we would like to assist in handing out the presents at Ben Meadows, if we may. Of course. I wouldn't want you to miss out on the joy of delivering the goodies to see the children's smiling faces. Thank you for sticking around, my friend. If, you, if you'd like, I'd be happy to tell you more about the festivities so that you can get fully into the Starlight Spirit. Complete. Time to shine. And this gives us a wind-up Rudy and a Squirrel Emperor. I, I love a Squirrel Emperor. Well, I do believe it's time to deliver the presents to the children. You're still willing to help out, yes? Uh, it would be our pleasure, Rudy in particular, and they would support him along the, all the way. Excellent. On to business then. Uh, my fellow celebrate, uh, Beanflade, Beanflade, has been placed in charge of his task. Seek him out, Ben Brass Meadows, and he will tell you everything you need to know. Go on, off you go. Very well. Come, adventurer, follow me to Ben Brass Meadows. I used to live here many years ago, you know. Yes. The fourth tree on the right. Up. Oh. There's no snow here. You'd think they'd put some decorations up. Well, you could put some little presents out, I guess. About time you showed up. Uh, I mean... Uh, that that you might be helping out, believe you me, we could use the help we get. Then you will have ours. <coughs> My yeti friend Rudy Strife. Oh Jesus Christ! Sorry. Jesus. Sorry, I had to quickly mute it so that I could uh really really clear. <laughs> Though I may say, Mother Midori is... Oh, did I actually skip? Oh, I actually skipped tabbing back in. I'm sorry. Though I must say, Mother Midori truly outdid herself this time. Just look at all these presents. Might I suggest we split the duties? We might deliver them to the children in a more effective manner. Yeah, I'd love to see you deliver them. Drive, why don't you take a badge and go with Rudy? Meanwhile, I'll get started on the opposite side. 
Yeah? Yep, 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 yep. Dear me, we're really so ready to go that it might be best to stand aside. Leave him to it. If you would do wonders for his confidence, I'm sure. The children would delight in getting a gift from a season, seasonally fitting snow creature. Yeah. Except for that poor kid whose parents were killed by a wood whaler, by a yeti. That was a... Can't imagine how that was going to go down. Restless girl and a bashful boy. Yep, yep, yep. So, so beast. No, please don't eat me. I like my parents. Yep. A present. A present for us. Oh, you must be one of the good little saint helpers. We gave the children their presents. Wow, look at these absolutely delicious. And I was thinking how hungry I was. Lucky me. Are you sure it's safe to eat? I suppose. I suppose they must be. The adventure would be would sit, would do so about it. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Please, I only do stuff if people if people hire me to do stuff. Okay, keep that in mind, kid. <laughs> I ain't, I'm volunteering for this one. <laughs> Thank you, fluffy little helper. Oh, I'll be sure to eat them at once. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, off he goes. He's so fast. He's such a fast Yeti. He runs around so quickly. Doing his little things. Who do you have here? Hip, hip, hip. Oh, I'm a monster. You would venture to do something about this. Wait, is he holding something? What you got there, little friend? Those presents are for us? Yep. What are these? Some kind of snowball shaped cake? I've never seen anything like it before. They look so good. Uh, and I'm going to tell all my friends that I got them from a saint's cutest helper. They smell delicious. Thank you very much for the gift, little helper. And you too, Mr. Adventurer. Yep, yep, yep. You're welcome. Like an adventure and do something about this. Kids, you gotta fucking pay me, alright? We had to save you for the fucking fun of it? Nah. I don't care if it's Christmas. Well, <laughs> pay me for that. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Yo, dude, you got any more? Got any more things to hang out? Oh, you got loads there, look. Loads. You should be proud of yourselves. <coughs> Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry for the croakiness. You should be proud of yourselves. You snowball sweets are the talk of the town, and not just among the wee ones. You've brought us the Starlight Miracle this year. What the? The Yetis, Yetis in the city, take cover at once! Oh, that's unfortunate. If only we didn't spend all this time making them not fear the Yeti. And that voice. Did it come from the city gates? Oh, look at them. Look at these big yetis. What are the seven houses going on? I know they're not from where, where the pair of you fearsome yetis just stormed into the city. Bro. Yep, yep, yep. Huh? Hmm? Oh, oh dear. I see. Yes, I see. Okay. Uh, lend me your ears, friends. This is no need for panic. Our large friends here haven't come to attack us. They're simply Rudy's siblings. They've come to take their little brother home. Yeah. You're a lucky little yelly to have such good family. Worried after you, Rudy. Yeah, even if they do look like they're about to give a good whopping, walloping. Indeed, I cannot deny that uh, they are a bit protrude to hear them tell it. They are rather upset Rudy allowed himself to be captured so easily. Captured? 
Can't fend for himself, do they? Yep, yep, yep. Give him what for? Go on, go on, go on Rudy. Get in there, beat the crap out of him. Yep. Bro. Yep, yep, yep. Bro. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. What? What did they say? Did, did, they, did they sort it out? Oh, I'd say. I don't know if Red Rudy told them off. He told them all the delicious snowball treats we made together, and how the children's face lit up when they gave him their presents. He said he may be small, but he's proud that he can do what he accomplished. And he won't let anyone belittle him anymore. Yip, yip. Say, Rudy, really, how about letting your brothers try your snowballs? It tastes worth a thousand words, after all. Aye, nothing's like sharing some tasty treats between family, eh? Rawr. Well, isn't that nice of him? He just apologized for how they treated Rudy. All these all these times. He's proud to call Rudy his brother. And that Rudy is more than welcome in their snowball fights. After the Yeti games. Yep, 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 yep. I'm not sure how cooking culinary and delicious treats called snowballs are going to help him in this situation, but still. Oh look, it's Santa Claus. Yep, yep, yep. Rudy says he intends to return to his brothers, uh, to their mountain home, that he's very much enjoyed his time with us. He only wishes he could have properly... Whoa, what the fuck is this? I think this is the PvP mount. Well, there's a PvP mount very similar to it. For his time with us, he only wishes that he could have probably tagged the saint, tagged the saint of Nemeo before he left. I wouldn't worry about that. Oh, I reckon the saints... Energy clear, clear as can be. Look, he was sitting by. This was sitting by those morsels you made earlier from you know who. Dear Rudy, your delicious little snowball treats simply spark this festive starlight spirit. I dare say you were the finest of all my helpers. Ho ho ho! Did you hear that, Rudy? It seems that the saint was watching you work the whole time. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Rudy, of course. Strife will miss you too. Strife, Rudy, Rudy says that if it were not for you and your rest of us, he would never realize he's capable, he's capable of. I literally did nothing. I just, I watched. That's all I did. I found confidence to stand up to his brothers. He says that everyone he met was so incredibly kind and it was because of... Of that, that he was able to make the best snowballs he ever made. He says, Thank you, Strife, for making the most marvelous, memorable starlight of his life. I'm sure as a Yeti, he does it all the time. Yip, yip. Fare thee well, Rudy, and promise you'll come back to see your friends again someday, yes? Go home, you go. Go back home, you go, then. Uh, take care of yourself out there. Aye, oh, he'll be lonely around here about that little guy. Worry not, my friends. Yours and Rudy's paths may well cross again. So, somewhat. Perhaps maybe in like a year, maybe. Roughly. After we never know when fate is in store for us. And with that, we best return to report to Tama. I suspect she'll be thrilled and is sad to hear that Rudy's gone away. Come, follow me. Come, adventure. Alright, alright, alright. We're coming back. Uh, we're going to do Grenadia. It's not con I hope that it's not congested. Don't be congested. Oh, lucky. I 
can't believe it was congested. That's so funny. Look at this elephant outfit. I don't know how you get that either. But I should perhaps be drawing attention to the outfits. Like, not sure how, but it could be story related. <laughs> You never know. You never know. I should be drawing attention to the outfits. We don't know where they come from yet. All done, how do you get the presents, are you? Oh, thank you so very much. Uh, good work, Ru Wait, where's Rudy gone off to? He went home. Home? With his brothers? I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Oh, to ruffle his fluffy fur one last time. You were quite fond of little fellow, weren't you? Of course. Do you have another profiter roll, by the way? This one's getting rather dirty. Of course. Uh, who would get attached to such a sordidly uh, porty little face? Oh well, if he's happy now, that's all that matters. And now allow me to thank you both once more. Not just for your help over the festivities, but for everything you did for Rudy as well. You helped him with his confidence he needed to get his siblings to accept him. Why, if Rudy ex exploits, don't fill, fill you with the spirits of Starlight, I dare say nothing will. Why, I'm feeling more energetic about the celebration than ever. As, and as head cel celebrant, ce celebrant, celebrant, <laughs> I will, I will do all in my power to spread joy and smiles, such passion and joy as Rudy did. I too very much enjoyed that time we spent together. Truly, it was full of new experiences. I look back upon fondly. That's so strife. Yet I fear the time has come for us to part ways, after all. The lands traverse, people to meet, and sweets to eat. Like this one, maybe. <laughs> Look how cute he is. I very much hope to see you again someday. Perhaps maybe in about a year. And what do you say? Should you ever find yourself in a, in a pinch with a beast again, I might very well show up and lend a hand. Well, well. I love, I, I, I love the fucking Squirrel Emperor. He's so good. Thank you, truly. I know it isn't much, but please take a humble token of my appreciation. Copies of both of your friends. Believe it or not, the saint himself expressed an interest in meeting you. No doubt he wishes to thank you in person. And whenever you have a moment, pray, just say the word. Thank God. Are we gonna are we gonna meet him? Are we gonna meet Santa? You got another quest for me to meet Santa? Not the end. A repeatable quest. Uh, uh Fuck it, let's do it. It's strange that I got so attached to Rudy in such a short amount of time. Either way, I only hope we can meet him again someday. <sighs> By the time there's no time for sentimental. All I have to do is remember the Satan tomorrow wishes to have a word with you. Time? Hey, it's Zephyr. He didn't, he didn't mention exactly where he was, but he was most interested that you come along. Where do you think it could be? Sure. Where is he? Oh, he's literally just over here. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Thank you for joining me, my adventuring friend. No doubt you know who I am, the Saint of Namara, the bringer of gifts, the joys of children across the realm. Amath has told me that you exploits this starlight season, and I simply had to express my gratitude in person. Truth be told, I was observing you this whole time from a distance, for I almost wish that I could have joined in it myself. But it is my policy to stay out of the, of the spotlight, or the starlight, as it were. Besides, you and your fairy friends have been say, have been having such a joy, jolly time that I couldn't bring myself to intrude. Watching Rudy 
help make those delightful snowball treats and grow a confident little helper was wonder to behold, a true starlight miracle. Which brings me to my request. I was hoping you might inspire me the same way uh, same as the way you did to young Rudy. For you see, as much as it pains me to admit this, I find myself as a loss for new gift ideas this year. I also could spare the time I was hoping it might little time together. Just the two of us, what do you say, friend? What would we do? I want... I just want a taste of inspiration of yours. Yes, some um, quality time with you, precisely what I need to rekindle my creative spirit. Ho oh, ho ho, no need to look alarmed. I won't ask much of you, I simply would ask you to accompany me on a little stroll under the stars. After all, decorations are most lovely, so why don't we take a festive atmosphere together? Old Gridania. A few spots in particular I'd like to take along the way. There'd be plenty... Oh, he's going to run around with us. <laughs> Other places to be. Though if you can spare the time, I would love to see see there. Off. Oh, really? Let's enjoy a stroll. Yeah, alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is in the story constantly. This is their new. This is their new little trick, their new uh, NPC following you, uh, thing. They like to make. Uh, they like to make other. He's fucking huge. Oh, he's not huge. He's just in the sky. Why are you in the sky, saving the world? <laughs> you gotta tell as well, but that's okay. We'll deal with that later. Oh, what a lovely spot indeed. Why, attuning my ears to the sound of the bubbling river and the spiny waterfall feels as if purifying me in the depths of my soul. That said, it's a bit chilly here. Water's edge, is it not? Most fortunate that I'm laying up nice and warm. Why, I dare say it's even feeling a bit, a bit hot. Yes. The cool air might have been just what I need for inspiration. That said, uh, I could make a gift gab of garments keep the chill out of winter, yes? It'd be a fine idea. Would you figure this sooner? That it? You come with me? Um, we're going down here now. We're not going to all these extra little spots. As much as, uh, as much as we can, uh, when it would take us like hours, like actual hours. We're just going to go to this one over here, the one that's lit up. Oh, all the good things do, it seems our little journey together has come to an end. I can feel the fire of inspiration coursing through me. Many thanks uh, for my kindly, my friend. Now, what remains is to bring my ideas to life in the form of gifts from children, yes? Must be after my workshop. That said, I very much enjoyed our little starlight stroll together. I do hope you feel the same. Um, was entertaining. Oh, 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 my apologies if I got a bit carried away at times. We could have gone to all the different locations again. As a Saint de Mara, I vow to devote my life to helping others. I believe two of us are rather alike in this. Area. You, with you know, your fighting and your skills and your need to protect everyone. Across the entire globe, and me, uh, a rich man <laughs> who spends a lot of money on toys for children, which is pretty good, I guess. Exploits of the sea has never reminded me anew just what the starlight spirit is all about. Anybody 
Anyone may be a man or a beast. And bring joy and wonder. Well, just they said choose. A wonderful thing, is it not? Now I must channel all this vim and vigor as you inspire me to craft my gifts for the children. So, if, so fear is time we parted ways. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Don't tell me. You're curious about what I'm ma making for them, yes? Uh, walking about town of you, Shuck Carlos felt looking at the streetscapes, held, held in white and warmth. It welled in my heart to seeing the smiling faces of townspeople. That's that's then it hit me. I could craft snow globes, yes! Little spheres of glass, housing scenes, depicting the starlight season. Here in Gridania, the children would enjoy that, don't you think? Yeah, actually, they probably would. There's that and best to get to work. Giving phys give physical form to my ideas, do send Amber my regards. Oh, ho, ho. That, and that was that. He was gone. The snow... The old Santa Claus himself. He's gone to make snow globes with his goldsmithing skills. There should be a collectible. Right, so now now you should be able to do all all crafters should be able to craft a snow globe, right? And then you should be able to hand them in as a collectible for like seasonal exp, seasonal uh, white scripts. Like, don't make the scripts any different. Don't make the scripts any different from what they are normally. Just just a seasonal one, be fun. It was bringing from ear to ear, or maybe that's how you should get the minions. I uh, had the thing. Uh, it would be crafted early then, wouldn't it? The saint was bringing from ear to ear on his way out. You must have had quite the time together. Uh, but, but where's my head? Where's my head? Sorry, I forgot her voice for a second. Uh, he left. He left as a special starlight gift for you. I do hope you enjoy the festivities. If you're so inclined uh, to do check back with us with the saint before the season's over. I would enjoy to see you again. I'm sure you would be. Alright, that's the repeatable quest done and done. Uh, is there a store? No, is there a store this year? Starlight Celebrant. Hey, what do you buy? There's a, a Starlight Mobile, which I guess we'll buy one. Um, there's no point. Well, we'll buy, buy three. We don't need We don't need a crazy amount of them since... Can't sell these anymore, and they never make them sellable. So, um, and let's have a look at that decoration that we threw. This one, sunshine. Oh, that's nice. This is. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Christmas event, man. I I love Christmas. I really do. And these events are nice. That one as well was great. That was really fun. I love the fucking squirrel. The squirrel emperor was the best one. It was the best Christmas, <laughs> best Christmas we've ever had. Uh, but no, truly, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. And uh, I hope the queue isn't too rough on you. And there's loads of videos for you to watch whilst the queue's going. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you all then. Bye bye. <laughs>